So uh, for on Harvard time, uh, we're here with Carl Rove. So for the purposes of this interview, would you like me to refer to you as Carl or Mr. Rove or Carl. MC Rove? Carl, or? Carl, definitely not MC. <laughs> yeah, definitely not MC. Great. So, um, so Carl, welcome to Massachusetts. Thank you. Good and to uh, happy, happy. I, I, got, I got incidentally my passport was st stamped this morning when I came in. My U.S. To passport. Massachusetts. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know what? Happy Gabriel. <laughs> Happy, happy Gabriel here. Um, so let, let's talk about your career a little. Um, here, this looks better on you. On me. <laughs> better on me. There you go. So um, you were uh, the deputy chief of staff for uh, George W. Bush and the architect of both senior of his senior advisor. Senior advisor. Senior advisor and, and deputy chief. Of and state. deputy chief of staff. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us about that time in third grade uh, that you were beat up by a girl? I, I was a Nixon supporter and she was a Kennedy supporter. I had a Nixon sticker on my wire basket on my bicycle. And she was about 12, and she was a very observant Catholic family. When she found out I was for Nixon, she motioned me off my bike and then put me <laughs> on the floor and put me on the sidewalk and began pummeling me. So, so politics has followed you around. Exactly, um, exactly. Little did I know I was making such a desperate Democrat right. simply being for Nixon. So once, uh, when you were in college, you were a brother of the um, Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity, right? Once a Pike, always a Pike. A completely unlikely <laughs> fraternity guy, completely unlikely. So I, think I mainly became a fraternity guy because it was the only place that I could get my, my family moved away on certain sudden notices about the only way I could get housing. So I lived in the under the eaves in the pike. I house. think housing is why most people join fraternity. Yeah, yeah but it was fun. I was, you know, I was the most unlikely fraternity guy though. So, um, all right, so when you resigned as Deputy Chief of Staff and, I guess, Senior Advisor, um, John Edwards, former U.S. Senator, said good riddance. Uh, now that he's dropped out of the U.S. Democratic uh, presidential race, do you have anything you want to say to him? No. <laughs> safe. So that's yeah. the safe choice. Um, so, I, so I guess you, it didn't get a score of that many points. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Uh, so let's play a little word association. We've got some... Uh, We've got some pictures here, and so just say the first word that pops into your head when I show the picture, all right? So, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, uh, Dick Cheney. That's fair. Ooh, very fearsome Barbara Bush. I've lived in fear of her for 35 years, we 37 all have years. Yeah, exactly. Prayer. Me. Oh, man, sad. Really, really sad. Great, great. So um, let's move on. We asked the uh, Democratic, the current president of the Democratic Club here at Harvard, uh, how he would describe you, and the way he described you was, and this is a direct quote: um, "Ann Coulter and Satan's love child." Now you've been uh, there's been a lot of criticism man, aimed at man, you. Man, that's harsh. Man. That is harsh. That's how harsh. do you deal with that? Ann Coulter, that harsh man. That's <laughs> harsh. Uh, I don't. So. Uh, look, when people say inane things like that, their purpose is to get under my skin, and why let them get under my skin? So, um, I read somewhere that uh, George W. Bush endearingly refers to you as Turd Blossom. What does he call you when he's, I don't know, angry at you? Turd Blossom. <laughs> so it's, it works for all things. What yeah, does yeah. Turd Blossom mean exactly? It's a Texas expression. Uh, it's a little flower in West Texas that, that uh, will come up uh, in the spring if it's been fertilized by a cow. So, if you're the blossom, then does that make the Republican Party the turd? What, what is no, the turd? that makes me the turd. <laughs> that makes me the turd. I'm the turd and the blossom. So it's really more of an insult, it's, really. Yeah, it's, no, well, it's more of a, it's just a sort of an endearing phrase there. So, uh, do you have a direct line to George W. Bush? Can you just call him all the time? Um, could you call him right now? Uh, right now he's in uh, meetings in Central Europe, so... A little you know, busy. Yeah, on his way to Could you call Croatia. Dick Cheney, maybe? Uh, if I had a reason Is to. he maybe busy invading Poland or something? No, 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 no. no, no. Poland's our ally. It's, right. it's Belarus that's not our friend. <laughs> so we're invading so, Belarus? So, so, well, I'm He's not saying. Possibly. I mean, you'll, you, when, you, when you need to know, you'll know. So you've been attached to, I mean, a lot of controversies. You've been attached to the Valerie Plain scandal, swift boating John Kerry, you know, the dismissal of the U.S. attorneys, uh, you know, contempt of Congress, never found WMDs, um, and even, you know, saying that John McCain is an illegitimate black child. No. Which hey, of these hey, do you remember most fondly? The one that I question. remember most fondly is, uh, is uh, that you got it all wrong. I mean, uh, you know, for example, that last one. Uh, I was actually a nutty college professor at Bob Jones University. If you, if you Googled that incident, you'd find out that it was all written about and it's actually you could get his name. And 
Really? And maybe invite him on the program. I'm getting here the uh, wrap it up call. So there we go. There we go. Thank you so you much. Uh, for On Harvard Time, this has been Derek Flansreich. Probably going to have to hire someone to taste my food uh, every well, morning for the rest of my life from now on. But no, don't, don't worry. It won't be the rest of, well, it might be the rest of your life, but it won't be a very long time for you to have to employ you. <laughs> um, I'm going to graduate from here, right? Just, just make yeah, it sure. Yeah, but you know you're going to be doing some postgraduate work at a facility in Central America in the Caribbean. Thank you Long so much, Ben. Day. Thanks for Long your time. time <laughs> really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks.